Hello viewers, this is your tutorial on how to automate comments on Twitter using Socinator. Commenting on targeted tweets is a great way to interact with other users and maintain engagement. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the Comment tab because we want to comment on Twitter. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to comment on a number of tweets within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for comment activity. Let's start with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, it allows you to command the software and how to search targeted tweets to comment on. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user's tweets. You can click the drop-down button to view the different query types. Once you have selected your query type, go to the query box and enter your query either manually by typing them or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. And when you're ready, click add queries to the list and it will be added in the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. First is keywords. Let's say foodies, for example. Click add. So it will target the tweets containing this keyword and comment on the tweets. Next is hashtags. So let's use hashtag dogs for example. Click add. So it will target tweets containing this hashtag. For location tweets, the format is keyword colon city colon country colon distance. Let's say the keyword is games colon city is Tokyo colon country is Japan colon and distance is 15 for example click add so it will target tweets containing these location specifications near my location you can enter keywords only let's say dogs click add so it will target the tweets with this keyword from users near your location for custom tweet lists we need a specific tweet let's say this one copy link to tweet and paste it in query box click add so this will comment on that specific tweet. Someone's followers tweets, we need a specific username. Let's use Elon Musk. So it will target Elon Musk's followers tweets and comment on them. For someone's followings, then let's use the same username, click add. It will target the tweets of the users Elon Musk is following instead. For followers of someone's followings tweets, Elon Musk for example again. Click add so it will target the tweets of the followers of the users Elon Musk is following for followers of someone's followers tweets. So this time it will target the tweets of the followers of Elon Musk's followers. Next is like users tweets. So we need a specific tweet URL here. Let's use the same one from earlier. Click add. It will target the users tweets who like that tweet commented users tweets same tweet so this time we will target the users tweets who commented on that tweet for retweeted users tweets with the same tweet URL click add it will target the users tweets who retweeted that tweet for commented tweets click add it will target the commented tweets of that tweet so it will target the replies to that specific tweet for Socinator Publisher campaign, it depends on the campaign you have created and published through Socinator. You may view them in the Social Publisher tab over here. For tweets liked by specific user, we need a specific user here. Let's use Elon Musk again. Click Add. It will target all the tweets liked by Elon Musk and comment on them. For specific user tweets, then it will target the specific tweets of the username we enter here. So Elon Musk, for example. Finally, we have Tweet Scraper Campaign. This depends on the campaigns you have created using Socinator. Just copy the campaign ID from the campaign section of Tweet Scraper Campaign and paste it here. And then click Add. So you can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. For example, keywords and it's gone and that's it for search query let's go to the next configuration category 
So the next configuration category is manage comments. We can create comments and manage them. So if you hover on spin tags, you can see the format of the comments. So you can add multiple comments, separate each comment by that symbol. So let's try. Let's say cool. Separate each comment with this symbol. There you go. Second comment, awesome. Separate again with the symbol. Let's say, let's say nice, for example. So you may clear everything using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. And if you check spin tax, then Sociator will randomly select one from these comments. So for queries, you need to select according to the search queries earlier. So let's target Elon Musk's tweets. So specific user tweets of Elon Musk. Then you may filter text depending on which tweets you want to comment to. So when you're ready, click add comment to list and it's automatically added in the comment lists where you can see action button over here will allow you to edit or delete the comment. The next one is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should comment to tweets. We have already created a few activity speed configurations, which you can use like slow with an average daily activity of 22, medium with 50, fast with 75, or super fast with 107. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each tweet is commented on. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after commenting on the number of tweets you set and number of comments per job. Number of comments per job will allow you to specify the number of tweets you want to comment on per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of tweets to comment on per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max comment per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep commenting on tweets even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. And click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. And let's call it Twitter comment and click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Twitter comment. The next tool is tweet filter. This allows us to filter the tweets we want to comment to on Twitter. So the first one, you can specify how old the tweets are. Let's say less than three days old. You can also specify the minimum and maximum number of retweets as well as favorites. Then the following will allow you to skip specific tweets. So you can skip tweets containing specific words. Let's say you don't want to comment on tweets with politics or government. And then type them. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text by clicking this button. And select the right file, must not contain, for example, and click open. And it's uploaded successfully. So I separate each word with a comma. Click save and you're done. You can also skip already retweeted tweets then skip tweets with this symbol. So these are mentions or replies. So you can skip commenting to them. You can also skip retweets, tweets with links or without links. And the last one allows you to skip tweets that contain non-English characters. So if you want to target English tweets only. Next is after comment action. This allows us to add actions after commenting. So you can enable like tweet after comment. After commenting, you can like the tweet as well. And you can specify the number of likes as well as the delay between each like. You may also retweet after commenting. So the number of retweets and the delay between each retweet. You can also like others comments. So under the same tweet, if there are other comments, then you can choose to like them, specify the number of likes as well as the delay between each like. Then finally, you have the option to follow the tweet owner after commenting on his or her tweet. For other configurations, you can choose a number of tweets to be scraped for comment per user. So you can specify the minimum and maximum numbers. You can also allow multiple comments on the same post and specify how many comments on the same post. Finally, we have manage blacklisted users. 
So blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. So in this case, software will not comment to blacklisted users' tweets when the box is checked. So this can either be a private blacklist, which is a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start commenting, let's scroll up and hit the save button. Success. And click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating comments on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app, click the social drop down button, and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's go to engage tab and select comment on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Twitter comment. For search query, let's target specific user tweets. So Elon Musk's tweets, click add queries to list. For comment, we can just use one comment. Cool. Then queries, Elon Musk, and add comment to list. And it's added over here. For job configuration, an average daily activities of 22 should be OK. So let's select slow. For tweet filter, we can skip tweets with this symbol and focus on English tweets only. So let's keep tweets with non-English characters as well. For after comment action, let's follow the tweet owner. Other configurations is up to you and let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, we can select multiple Twitter accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. So if you want to proceed, click the account and click save. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Twitter comment campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.